Hello, <laughs> this is Gloria from IamUniversity.org, where we help you to embrace your full potential, grow into an integrated enlightened master, and reach your evolutionary goal. <laughs> you see, you cannot create an outer life that is greater than your inner life. You cannot create an outer life that is more fulfilling, more excellent, more exciting, more beautiful, more healthy, whatever, than the quality and condition of your inner life. Why? <laughs> because our outer life is an outpicturing of our inner life. Creation happens from the inside out. Everything we see in the outer world, everything we see in the outer world with our physical eyes is an effect. The cause is invisible to the physical eye because the cause lies in our thinking and lies in our feeling, right? So if you have never gone within to look at your habitual thinking and feeling and, and secret desires maybe, so if you wonder what your inner life looks like because you never really uh, confronted yourself with it because you never went within to look at what's going on within, just look at your life in the without. <laughs> your outer life is an outpicturing of your inner life. So if you don't know, if you want to know what's going on inside of you, look at your outer life. So here is the idea. <laughs> if you want your outer life to be more beautiful, to be more exciting, to be more excellent, to be more peaceful, to be more fulfilling, uh, to be richer, to be healthier, make your inner life more beautiful, more excellent, more exciting, more fulfilling, richer and healthier. That is actually one of the lessons that we are here to learn now as a human species in our current cycle of evolution. We have to learn to move from being a victim to being a master, from being an effect to being a cause. We want to be a cause in life, not an effect, right? <laughs> you see, there are all kinds of universal laws in operation and these universal laws always have been in operation and they always will be in operation and they are in operation right now. However, we have not been aware of their existence. <laughs> so being unaware of how things work, being unaware of how energy flows thought and all these things, we have been and are working with forces and energies without realizing what we are doing. You know, when you, when you think a thought or when you have an emotion or when you indulge a desire, we are actually working with forces. We are working with forces and energies and universal energies. However, being unaware of all of this, not understanding what we are doing, we set unconscious causes and then only see the effects of our unconscious doing. And so we come to the conclusion that emotions apparently overcome us, emotions apparently happen to us, thoughts pop into our mind, apparently out of the blue, and, uh, and we don't understand any of it. We don't understand why we have the thoughts we have, why we have the emotions we do, and etc. because we do not yet understand that as a human species. Um, we do not understand that we live and move and have our being in a, in a sea, in an ocean of energies and forces. But it's changing now, right? Because we are starting to learn that our outer life is simply the outpicturing of our inner life. It's not the first time you've heard it, and it will not be the last time, <laughs> because it's a lesson we have to learn now, right? And so as we go within, trying to get to the bottom of seemingly simple statements like you cannot create an outer life that is any greater than your inner life, as we go within trying to understand why it is so, a whole new world opens up in front of our eyes, right? <laughs> so here is your assignment if you are ready to uh, take some action and initiate some growth, which I hope you are. <laughs> Look at your outer life and compare it to your inner life and then try to understand the relationship between your inner life and your outer life and how the one creates the other. And then maybe pick a thing or two you would like to create in your outer life and start working on it from the inside out. Start thinking about it, feeling about it, take action upon it and see how your inner thinking feeling starts to show up in the outer world, right? So please think about it. I hope a copy of service to you today. Please remember to become an integrated enlightened master. Why? Because it is your current evolutionary goal. Bye.